What is going on guys? It is your boy Apathy back with a new tip video today and I'm going to teach you how to slide cancel like a pro player. I'm going to start off with giving you guys five quick tips about slide canceling and then we're going to go into some gameplay and I'm going to give you guys some examples and how like I use my slide canceling. So first things first, before we begin the video, I did make a whole video on how to actually slide cancel. But if you don't know, it's simply slide slide X slide slide X. So I slide with R3. So it's R3 R3 X r3 r3 x and then obviously you aim in in the end so r3 r3 x aim in i also have my slide on tap so that does help me a lot so once you get a hang of it of r3 r3 x r3 r3 x you can just start off like this r3 r3 x r3 r3 x now we can talk about the other stuff so one thing about slide canceling is you always want to slide cancel around corners essentially so you always want to slide around almost every corner if you ever watch me play i do this pretty much every time i slide around corners just to challenge somebody, especially when I'm coming from a left to right angle. I do it almost every single time. So like this, I'll do it like this. I'll do it most of the time. If it's, if it's from a right to left angle like this, sometimes I won't do it, but it can still catch people off guard and still give you free kills. But usually when you're maneuvering around the map, you always want to slide around corners for the most part. Not always 100%. Like obviously, if you think someone's here and you could just like burger walk out and just challenge them or just jump out and challenge them. But slide canceling in general is just a good movement to maneuver around the map. Whenever you're maneuvering around the map, you always want to slide cancel almost every single head glitch almost every single time. It's just an advantage. If someone ends up coming there or like in front of you, you basically camera them even harder. So like this, slide cancel like this, slide cancel like this. So you always want to like try to slide cancel every head glitch. You can slide wide, slide cancel like that. And it, trust me, it's going to get you a lot of kills. For example, today, I literally did this. I sprinted around here, slid to the heady, and then canceled it and just popped up and killed them. It's just so broken, man. For the next tip, guys, you never really want to slide cancel head on into gunfights. So let's say there's a guy here. You never want to do this, like slide sort of straight towards people. The thing about the slide cancel, the pull up time of the gun can be kind of slow sometimes. What makes it broken is the cameraing coming around the corner with a broken movement and go coming out really fast. That's what makes it really good. But actually challenging head like head on gunfights like this or kind of straight on is really bad. Don't do that. If you're ever going to challenge a gunfight, always do it from like around a corner and try to catch people off guard or basically camera them. And for the next tip, guys, it's pretty obvious, but a lot of people don't think about it sometimes. You always want to do double tack sprint before you slide cancel. If you watch me, you're waiting for my gun to come up. Okay, I can slide. Wait for my gun to come up. Okay, now I can slide. Wait for my gun to now I can slide. It's going to give you more momentum. You can slide farther. You can come out around a corner faster. It's just much better. And for the last quick tip before we get into the gameplay, you can also do long slides. Now, for some reason, when people think about slide canceling, they think it's just a short slide cancel like this, like really quick. And yes, this one is good as well. But there are situations where the long slide cancel is just as good especially if you're coming around a deep corner and you started it kind of early. So for example, I could do it like this, challenge kind of quick, or I can start my slide earlier and do this. You can wait out the slide. You don't have to slide cancel right away. You can notice you can slide out pretty deep. Obviously, sometimes the faster ways is better because you just get to challenge right away. But sometimes the long slide is better. It's very situational. So you definitely practice a short slide cancel. You can do the combo really quickly. That way you're just doing it fast and then practice some long ones because there are situations or the long slide will be better for you. Also, the long slide cancel looks cooler. It looks like you're like kind of gliding around the map. What is this guy on about, man? I can't throw around the corner. All right, guys, so just pay attention a lot to what I'll be saying in this map and just my movement in general. You guys will notice I'll slide cancel around almost every single corner. Do it over and over again. It is muscle memory at this point. I do it a lot. Noah did end up team killing me. I'm not mad. I'm just a little bit upset. And there's a reason why slide canceling on top of it, just breaking the movement system is really good. If you slide cancel in the right time, you basically reset your sprint. So you're able to sprint over and over again forever, essentially. I don't know where this guy is on the map. Slide cancel out. Slide cancel out. I saw him laying down. I'm going to burger walk back. Oh, I choked. Slide cancel to the head glitch. Slide cancel around. Slide cancel again. And you see, like, I like to slide cancel a lot into gunfights, but then I, I tend to use my slide cancel for positioning and just kind of maneuvering around the map. And then when I think I'm in a good position, god damn. When I think I'm in a good position, I will stop my slide cancel and then challenge in front of me or whatever the case is. So I'm just slide canceling the smoke right now. This guy's actually running away. I'm going to kill him. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to flip here. Challenge him off the hill. You know me, just straight beams. So like right here, I know there's no one nearby. I'm far away. I'm just going to take a full sprint. I could have easily slid cancel uh, to reset my sprint. It might have helped a little bit, but it's completely fine. Going to slide cancel around this corner. First kill this guy. Slide cancel. Slide cancel. 
Supreme. Challenge that guy. Middle. Slide cancel back. And the, like, usually farther walls, you want to slide cancel wide. Oh my god, I'm beaming these kids. I'm so one shot. This guy, damn it. I hit the double attack sprint. Slide cancel, double attack sprint, slide cancel. Challenge just got mid. My teammate's going to kill that guy. Double attack sprint, slide cancel. Slide cancels head glitch. Into the gunfight. Free kill, but I ran out of ammo. Just going to preempt this guy. I know he's trapped in there. So it's kind of crazy how much times the map we slide cancel nowadays. Like, we do it all the time. Us pro players do it all the freaking time. Just because it's so good. Slide cancel around this corner. Here we got middle. Nope, not on me. Slide cancel around. Slide cancel here. Slide cancel around the corner. Oh, he's going to challenge me. And this movement catches a lot of people off guard because... There's not much you can do about it. The movement is just so broken. It's hard to react to it sometimes. It's not like you aim in super fast. It's like Black Ops 4 broken slide cancel. But just the movement in itself is what really catches people off guard. Slide cancel, slide glitch. See nothing. Slide cancel this little head glitch. See nothing. Slide cancel, slide glitch. Slide cancel again. Kill this guy close. Slide cancel out. Is this going to spawn on me? I know you're in this corner. You're dead. Kill you. Slide cancel. Slide cancel. Child out. Oh, didn't get the two piece. And this is a good. See, this is a good example of slide canceling head glitch. Going like this, and slide. You can do what's good about head glitches. You can also do wide slides on them a lot easier. Kill that guy. Sorry, teammate. Sorry, teammate as well. It's actually another guy. They're gonna bunny hop here. See, that's not a good time to. Oh my god, bro. Do you have to think I'm hacking at this point? So you guys saw that second engagement, I didn't slide cancel into the gunfight. Now, it's basically what I was preaching before, how I said you do want to slide cancel a lot, especially around corners, but slide canceling into an engagement isn't always the best idea. Slide cancel around, like slide canceling head on into engagements like that. You see, I didn't slide cancel there because I anticipated someone. Usually when you're going to anticipate someone, unless they're kind of out in the open like that, I can slide cancel out like that. But most of the time, you never want to engage head on into someone with the slide cancel. So this is like essentially slide canceling around a corner. And catch him off guard, hit some beams. Uh, my teammates are, this guy's actually might gonna flank top bell. He went top AC. Oh my God, I am absolutely crying. I'm this is supposed to be a tip video, not a freaking world star video. Slide cancel around this corner, slide cancel again. Get ready, anticipate a gunfight. So I'm gonna stop slide canceling. The problem is a lot of people get slide cancel happy, especially when they first uh, do it. And yeah, it's good to do it a lot, especially around corners, but it's not something. Damn it. I was on a spree, bro. Don't do it like every second of your life because it will get you killed sometimes if you don't do it correctly. And the reason I thought about doing this video is because a lot of people were asking me like apathy. I learned how to slide cancel, but now I'm struggling when to do it. And the number one thing for sure is not to do it all the time and do it around corners a lot. For example, like that. I just got to get double team. Nope, not today. I will say that's the biggest thing. But all the other little things add up that I told you guys, all the little tips. And that's what would make you a slide cancel pro. You would be a slide cancel master. Slide cancel around here. I know there's a guy around here, so I'm going to unslide cancel. Got my teammate on the hill. These guys are just getting all the hill time, bro. It's really starting to piss me off, eh? Jump around here. Probably heard me. Kill you. Give me kill you. Uh, they're probably spawning on me. Nope, they're not. They should be keep spawning P1 here. Slide cancel this little window. Slide cancel around this corner. Notice them on the wall. Hit the nade. Slide canceling is an art, guys. It really is, man. It's an art. You gotta be like a butterfly. See we I remember when I got slide cancel happy and I literally did it at a tournament, got smoked, and I was like, never again. So I'm just trying to help you guys understand that it is godlike. It is amazing, but don't get too happy with it because it will get you killed more than it'll help you. My God, and these guys are everywhere. Slide cancel hit firing is also really good. I'm gonna trust my teammates. Can we win off the show? We actually can if we get every second, but I think my teammate is actually shooting me. I don't know why. All right, don't let them contest. No, they're definitely contesting. I'm just going to rotate here. I'm going to trust my teammates to win those kills. This is a nice little cheeky spot right here. Because I can watch the door and I can watch the hop up. That's not good. We have one try right here to break this hill. Slide cancel. Don't fail me. 
I got one. I gotta go though. That's up to me and my teammates. Light cancel. Hang down. One more. I got him. No, there's another one. Teammates, go, go, get in, get in. Ah, they're gonna die. Wait, he got him. That sucked. Let's see what these guys say. GG's. GG's. GG's, guys. Slide cancel. He's fake. I can do the same thing. Same Had to drop the 50 bomb on them. Unfortunately, we choked. But I was doing a tip video, man. So that's not really any of my concern. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today, man. Just an in-depth video on when to slide cancel, how to slide cancel like a pro player. There's a reason why we are good at slide canceling, and there's little things that we do that helps us really master it. So hope you guys picked up on some things, learned some new things, and apply it to your gameplay. Drop a like, guys. Let's get like a thousand likes. Let's break the record, man. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I also want to know your honest thoughts about slide canceling. Do you think it's a broken thing, or do you guys actually enjoy doing it? Hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.